<clears throat> long and short, I don't know if I've regretted taking the coronavirus vaccine. Sunday and I'm home <laughs> struggling to figure out how to put the air conditioner inside of the window and I'm not making any headways so that's super exciting very very exciting I feel like my options have somehow narrowed down to calling one of my friends on some yo so can you come put my air conditioner in the window please I will pay <laughs> I will absolutely pay, but I wanted to go in the window because tonight it's trash night. I also set a reminder today to plug it in when I come home just to make sure that it's working because tonight is trash night and I will absolutely be taking out that air conditioner box and putting it outside because I don't know if I'm the only person who's like, I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person who's like this, but listen, the trash needs to go. I will not hoard anything i will not hold on to anything i love throwing things away if i buy something new i'm throwing something away if i buy something i'm taking it out of the packaging and i'm throwing the trash away so I need to get rid of the box but i really need to figure it out so i'm really thinking about texting my friend to ask if he could come stick the air conditioner in the window because Oh, it's just sitting on the floor at this point and it's so heavy too like I never expected that that thing would be that heavy Anyways, I'm I just um got done with my work at about an hour ago. So I'm gonna wash a few dishes. That's in the sink Shower and sit to see which are my friends I could text to come fix my hair conditioner Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Just realized that my camera is absolutely falling apart But I wanted to come on here and talk about an experience that I had recently yesterday I decided to take the Johnson and Johnson coronavirus vaccine and let me tell you my friend was texting me because I sent her good to know because I sent her an article that I seen about the same coronavirus vaccine so yesterday um they were giving the vaccine at work and I decided that I was going to take it from the last time that they came which was a good while ago I decided that you know what I'm going to take it because I feel like it's going to get to a point where it's mandated especially if you want to like travel and stuff like that so I'm definitely going to take it till they came back started to take it took it yesterday when I took it it stung right and it stung a lot of bad and I'm used to getting um injections of all sorts you know but this one stung bad that I was even very surprised like I went to the dentist a few weeks ago and she, when she was injecting the thing it wasn't even that bad. Chances are it's because she numbed the air at first, but this one stung bad, right? She said, keep hydrated. If you're having any allergic reaction, take Benadryl. If you're feeling, if you're in pain, take Tylenol. I came home and, you know, I had a slight headache or whatever, but it wasn't anything crazy. So I'm like, you know what? I feel like I'm going to go sleep because my arm hurts. Like just this area. This is where I got it. I even still have the bandaid on. Maybe I should take it off. Because I don't see what it's doing at this point then pulling out my hair, giving me an arm wax. My arm was hurting. It's still hurting. Like, right here is so tender. And so I came home and at 6 o'clock I decided that, you know what, I'm just going to go sleep because I'm tired. So I'm going to take a nap. I went to sleep at 6 o'clock and I didn't wake up until 2. When I was going to go to sleep at 6 o'clock, I think I took two Tylenol. I can't exactly remember, but I think I did because I felt it hurting and I felt my head kind of hurting. I woke up at 2 a.m. When I woke up at 2 a.m., my head was hurting. I took two more Tylenols and I drank some Robitussin because I also felt, for some reason, a little bit congested, almost as if I'm getting the flu. So I drank some Robitussin and I'm like, when I wake up in the morning, I should feel fine because I had some errands that I wanted to run today. I woke up again at 7 a.m. When I woke up at 7 a.m., my head was still hurting. Did I take two more painkillers at 7 a.m.? Maybe not, because I knew that I had taken it at 6. So I just found something to eat and I went back to sleep. Okay, great. And then I woke up at 11 a.m. And when I woke up at 11 a.m., like, I realized that, listen, my head is hurting, my, my, my arm is hurting. I really feel like I have the flu. And I need to do something about it, you know? And I thought that the Robitussin that I had taken early in the morning would have worked, so I wouldn't wake up feeling like crap. But I just feel like crap. 
and then to top it all off, you know Apple News sends you those updates all the time. I ended up seeing one that said, U.S. recommends pausing the Johnson & Johnson vaccinations over rare blood clots. And I'm just like, I just took this. I literally just took this, like, what is going on? And when I saw it, I was freaking out a little bit. Yesterday when I was in the line too, I was freaking out a little bit. And normally I do not freak out or like get worked up about like vaccinations or whatever. Injections in general, like it's fine. It's not that serious. Turn away, take the shot, keep it pushing, you know? And I was telling my goddaughter's mother too that if this is how the babies feel, like if this is how their little arms feel and like their little body feels when they get an injection, like it's just love on them and like handle them with care honestly because this entire part of my arm hurts you know and like i feel i just feel like crap and imagine if the babies feel like this it's terrible anyways i'm just here today is my day off so um i just decided to make myself some breakfast take my daily vitamins that i normally take and lounge on the couch but I document multiple things that goes on in my life, so I figured, why not document this? So, um, <clears throat> long and short, I don't know if I've regretted taking the coronavirus vaccine. And I'm hoping that it's just today that I feel terrible because I do have things that I had planned out to do today. Luckily for me, I'm off tomorrow as well. So tomorrow I'm going to try and see how much I can cram in. So today is definitely going to be the day where I rest. And it's crazy because my other job had asked me if I could come in today. And I'm like, bro, I shit you not. Like, um... Uh, I'd like to come in for you, but honestly, after taking the vaccine, I don't know how I'm going to feel. And he was still stressing it, and I'm just like, listen, if you want to put me on there for Tuesday, by all means do that, but there is a strong chance that I'm definitely going to call it, because I don't know how I'm going to feel, and a lot of people said that it made them fall sick the following day. <laughs> Good thing he didn't put me on there, because I would not have been there today. And what he was putting me down for was 1 o'clock, and right now it's one thirty, and I still feel like shit. I would not have been up in that store standing up like this. Uh-uh. Anyways, my head is kind of hurting and I just took two painkillers when I took my vitamins. So I'm going to just relax a little, stay hydrated and see how that works out for me. I have my bottle of water here because I feel like maybe why I felt like that was because I wasn't too hydrated. So I'm fixing that and that's all really. So, um, I guess. I'll see you guys later, because for right now, I'm going to just be on this couch watching some TV, honestly. That's all. It's the only plan I have for today. I'm going to go see my goddaughter for the first time since she was born. She is a little bit over... No. Tomorrow, she is going to be a day from a month old. So, I'm going to go see her tomorrow, and I bought some goodies that I want to take for her. So, I'm going to show you all that right now. Disregard everything that's currently going on. Disregard everything that's currently going on in the background on my phone. Hello? <laughs> Not expecting a call. Oh, I didn't see it because I was walking back from like a Dollar Tree. And then I also decided at the very last second to go to the laundromat and do some laundry. So I went and I did that. Just came back. Have the bag there that I need to unpack. But I'm not in any hurry because at least I was able to get that done today. Because I felt better. So um, that's great. But I think I'm going to just lounge on the couch for right now because... Laundry is done, so I'm gonna just lounge on the couch, eat a snicker I bought two at the Dollar Tree, and for the mo most part, just chill for the rest of the evening. I'm gonna wash my hair tonight when I shower because I need it washed for the week that's coming. 
So I'm going to wash and put it in two braids and tomorrow I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do with it. But for the most part, that is pretty much all I had going on today. And that's it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>